This is the solution to quiz 15. Okay, so then we're supposed to integrate with respect to x, which means that all the y's are constant. So all of the y stuff can be factored out. Uh, so I'll observe that this is integral 0 to 1, 3x squared, exponential x cubed, and then multiplied by so exponential x cubed multiplied by exponential of negative 2y dx. The exponential of negative 2y can be factored out because y is constant. So it's exponential negative 2y integral 0 to 1 of 3x squared times the exponential of x cubed dx. Okay. Well, we can do a substitution. So how about w is x cubed, then dw over 3 is x squared dx. Changing the limits, w evaluated at 0 is 0, and w evaluated at 1 is 1. Making this substitution gives the exponential of negative 2y evaluated from 0 to 1, and then this will be exponential of w times uh, dw over 3 which is then uh, one-third exponential of negative 2y times the exponential of w and then this is evaluated from w is 0 to w is 1 so this would be one-third exponential of negative 2y uh, times e, because that's exponential of w at 1, minus 1. And that's the answer to part a. For part b, now that it's integral with respect to y, now all of the x things are constant. So again, uh, rewriting these things, that's integral 0 to 1, 3x squared exponential of x cubed times the exponential of negative 2y dy. Uh, now all of the x things can come out. So that's 3x squared exponential of x cubed integral 0 to 1 exponential of negative 2y dy. 3x squared exponential x cubed times the exponential of negative 2y divided by negative 2 and now evaluated from y is 0 to y is 1. So that would be, uh, what, negative 3 halves x squared exponential of x cubed and then uh, e to negative 2 and then minus e to 0. So minus 1. So that's the answer to part B. <coughs> okay, so we're requested to, to integrate over this rectangle uh, in both orders. So for the order uh, for the order dx dy,
for the order dx dy the iterated integral becomes so because the y's are on the outside that means that the outside limits are 2 to 4 and the inside limits are 0 to 6 and we're integrating 3x y squared plus 6xy minus 4 dx dy. So this would be integral 2 to 4. And then the x antiderivative of this would be 3 halves x squared, y squared, plus uh, the antiderivative of that would be 3 x squared y, uh, y minus 4 x evaluated from x is 0 to x is 6. So that's nice that one of the evaluation points is 0. That makes it easy to evaluate. So that would be plugging in x is 6. So 3 times 6 squared over 2 is 54. So that'd be 54 y squared plus 3 times 6 squared is 108 y uh, minus 24 dy. So I don't need to evaluate all that at 0 because of course it's 0. So now the antiderivative of this would be 18 y cubed plus uh, 54 y squared minus 24y <laughs> evaluated from 2 to 4. So that would be 18 times 4 cubed plus 54 times 4 squared minus 24 times 4 is the evaluation at 4, so that would be 1, 9, 2, 0, and then minus all of that evaluated at 2, so that's 18 times 2 cubed, plus 54 times 2 squared, minus 24 times 2 is 312, and then the difference of those two, 1920, oops, 1920, minus 312 is 1608. Okay, so that's the answer when we do it in the first order. In the second order, for dy dx, now x is the outer integral, so this would be uh, 0 to 6 on the outside, and integral 2 to 4, and we're integrating 3xy squared plus 6xy minus 4 dy dx. So that would be integral 0 to 6 on the outside. And then the y antiderivative of, in, antiderivative of this is xy cubed plus 3xy squared minus 4y. And this will now be evaluated from y is 2 to y is 4 dx. So this will be integral 0 to 6. 
and then evaluating at y is 4, 4 cubed is 64, so that'd be 64x. Uh, 4 squared is 16 times 3 is 48, so plus 48x. And then uh, minus 16 minus uh, plugging in 2, that'd be 8, so that'd be 8x plus plugging in 2, that would be 4 times 3 is 12x, and then minus 8 dx. So let's collect like terms. So 64 plus 48 uh, minus 8 minus 12, that's how many x's there are, so that's 92 x's. And then adding up the constants, that's negative 16, and then plus 8. So that's uh, negative 8. Okay, so now anti differentiate this with respect to x. So that would be 46x squared minus 8x. And now we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 6. Okay, so 46 times 6 squared is 1656. Uh, minus 8 times 6, so minus 48. And then minus uh, 0, 1656 minus 48 is 1608. So these are both the same. Which is good. For question three, we're given a double integral over a rectangle. Uh, so either iterated integral would work so either iterated integral would work by Fubini's theorem but one of them is significantly easier than the other. So, but dy dx will be significantly easier than the other. So that's the one I'll do. So that would be uh, integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to 1, x exponential xy, dy dx. So this would be integral 0 to 1, and then x times the exponential of xy, and then now over x, this thing evaluated from y is 0 to y is 1 dx. The x's cancel so that we obtain integral 0 to 1 of the exponential of xy evaluated from y is 0 to y is 1 
dx uh, against dx. So this would be integral 0 to 1, and that would be exponential of x uh, minus 1 dx. So that's exponential of x minus x evaluated from 0 to 1. So that would be e minus 1 and then minus 1 minus 0. So that answer is e minus 2. And that's the answer.